Hello and what's up everyone, Thunder Bob here, and tonight I am looking at a new uh, capture card that was sent to me. Um, this is from the same company who provided me with the Mirabox uh, 4K pass-through uh, capture card that I covered recently on the channel. Uh, they offered another one to me. They said, hey, we've got another product that allows you to capture video um, without using a computer. You can actually write directly to the capture card using um, a USB drive. And I've, I've never heard of that. It was kind of novel to me. And I said, I would absolutely like to see one of those because for what I do, you know, sometimes I'm streaming, sometimes I'm recording footage and sometimes I just need like some B-roll. You know, maybe I need a few minutes of footage of a game and I'm not gonna like, do I really wanna hook up my computer to it and run the line, get OBS running and everything. So this is a really cool sounding product. Uh, it lets you capture directly to uh, a USB drive, and uh, yeah, it, it's a cute little box here. I'm just gonna open this baby up and uh, just a little static clean bag, small product. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Nice little sleek, little sleek device there. And I read the specs on this. Uh, it doesn't, it does not do 4K pass through from my understanding, but I'm going to do a little testing on that. It does 1080p pass through and it'll record either 720p or 1080p. Uh, I believe it only records 1080p 30 hertz though. Whereas, you know, the more expensive, dedicated car that hooks up to your computer, this bad boy does um, 4K pass-through. So you could hook this up to, you know, PlayStation 5, to your um, Xbox uh, Series S or X, do the 4K to your TV, and then record it in uh, 1080p 60. I have successfully done 1080p 60 with this guy. So there's some limitations on this model. It's awesome that it will, you know, record directly to USB. And we'll just look at the ports. There is a power port, and I read that it does require power to use this. This one actually doesn't have a power cord. It runs everything off of the USB line, which is pretty nice. But since this is running off of the USB flash drive, obviously that's not going to power it. And we've got HDMI in. So you would take this from your PlayStation 5 or whatever, plug it in here. Uh, you've got the ability to add a microphone or to, uh, to listen to audio through here power port. And then on the other side, you've got USB and your HDMI out. So HDMI in from your console, HDMI out to your television, flash drive, or some kind of storage media goes right there to record your footage. So that's pretty, pretty damn cool. And there's something else in here. Let's just see. It's probably just the power cord. Yeah, a simple power cord. Oh, and they do give you a little flash drive. I was curious if, uh, if it came with one or not. Just pop this bad boy out. So they give you a little 32 gigabyte drive uh, with 1080p footage. I'm not sure how much that'll get you. Uh, maybe in a half an hour or something, an hour. But we'll uh, we'll be testing that out with the stick that they provided. Yeah, it goes right like that. So you'd have. HDMI in, HDMI out, recording footage right to that USB drive. This is a really cool device. I, I didn't even know this was a thing. So I'm really curious about the quality of the footage that you can record on this thing. And of course, I'll just, one more time. This is the, uh, the Miracast they sent me. I'll have a link down below. So if you're looking for actually recording to your computer, I'd recommend something like this. If you are trying to, to stand alone, this sounds like an interesting product. I'm going to do some review uh, and testing on it. And then like, you know, if you're just looking for a cheap one, there are cheap little capture cards out there. This is like a, a $30 capture card. It has uh, a loop on it. Though this uh, is limited to 1080p, um, both uh, streaming to uh, the television and over the USB to your computer. So there, there's a lot of options. You know, if you want to go, if you don't want to spend, this is a hundred bucks. This is like 30 bucks. Um, this thing, when I looked 
uh, I think it was like 1, 160. So I think it was on sale for 130. So you got options. Uh, I'm going to take a look at this and I'll probably uh, record some footage and maybe speak over it and just kind of talk about the quality uh, of, of the footage that this records. Okay, I just want to spend a second showing off how this actually works. I've got The Last of Us 2 playing up here. I just think that's a really pretty game and it's a good way to show off some of these devices. And I'm really impressed both um, with this and the other Mirabox capture card I got. Like, it looks, the presentation on the device is really nice. Um, so when you want to use this thing, you can see it says long press to record, short press to cycle through 1080p and 720p. So if I just, if I tap it, now it's going to be recording 720, tap it again, 1080p. This isn't even really a button, it's like one of those kind of touch sensor things. And if I hold it down, it gets kind of like, it vibrates. And then you see that little bar at the bottom indicating that it is recording. Just a really like clever way to tell you it's recording what it's doing without having a ton of buttons on it. It's kind of clean interface. The one complaint I've got, and this is the same kind of complaint I had for the other mirror box, it comes with a power cord that is far too short for most people where they're going to be probably setting this thing up. Um, especially if I'm going to be moving this between consoles. I've got... You know, I've got systems, and this is kind of a mess right now, my apologies. You know, I got systems all over the place, and I got my computer, and I got my arcade cabinet, and I got my, uh, my other one over there. And uh, that little cord, I might have to find something I can do. But for the moment, it's working for my PlayStation 4. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of impressed with this. I'm just going to record a bit of footage, and I'll show what the quality of this looks like uh, on my computer. Yeah. So I'll play a couple minutes here and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of talk over a couple minutes of footage here. This is The Last of Us 2, which I think is still one of the prettiest games out there. This is the PlayStation 4 version, so it could even look better. I don't have PlayStation 5 yet, but I just I think this is a great game to show off uh, really high quality graphics and assets and stuff. Um, right off the bat, looks great. I'm watching this on my computer. Um, it's 1080p. And uh, limited to 30 frames per second, though I think this game was 30 FPS on PlayStation 4 anyways, so you're not missing out on much. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to do a little loop-de-loop -loop here. Man, this is still such an amazing looking game. And this device is, is pretty cool. The idea of not needing to connect my uh, consoles actually to my computer if I just need to get like some, some B-roll or... I want to maybe record like a play session and I don't need to add commentary though with that microphone in I could theoretically add commentary right to that track also so that, that's pretty awesome but that's an option uh, let's jump ahead and we'll get to some more action-packed moments don't say a yeah this is a little further ahead and spoilers you play as Abby oops uh, but yeah this uh this is a little further into the game a little bit of exploration and then some combat here in a moment um, but yeah, I'm really impressed with both of these devices, um, both the uh, 4K traditional capture card that I've got here. Uh, I'll link to a previous video where I showed a little bit of that off, and also to this new standalone recording device. Uh, I wish it recorded, you know, 1080p 60, but for what it's doing, it's still pretty pretty cool. Um, some minor quibbles, cords are a little short on both of these devices. I wish it came with a longer USB cable, which I was e easily able to remedy just by buying a new USB uh, 3.0 cable that was longer, uh, did resolve my problem. And uh, in this case, the power cord was pretty short. It looked like maybe a, a foot and a half, two feet, which uh, pretty short for this device. Um, nothing, you know, deal breaker. Uh, price is a little bit higher on this one. I just double checked and it's like 160 from the manufacturer's website right now. Not available from Amazon or, or other retailers as far as I could see. Um, and the mirror box, uh, the, the other device I showed off was uh, $99 currently, though they do have some cheaper models as well. Yeah, I can't tell any difference between this and what was on my television. Looking at the warranty card that came with the devices, it looks like you have a 30-day uh, no reason return 
and also a one-year warranty. Um, so pretty standard. That 30-day return is kind of nice if there's no strings attached to it. One-year warranty on the product is uh, pretty standard, I would say, but is welcome. Uh, yeah, I'll be using this probably to stream some console or retro games in particular. I've got PlayStation Classic set up with a ton of retro games. I've got my Legends Ultimate cabinet set up with 21,000 games. Uh, I'll link another video where I demonstrated the uh, the 4K pass-through um, capture card and how it, it played with my Legends Ultimate. Um, yeah, this thing is uh, quite nice uh, for the money, I would say. If you're wanting to do live streaming, obviously, the uh, device that hooks up to your computer is probably the better option. Because otherwise, uh, I, I don't believe this can hook up directly. It only records to that uh, to that flash drive. But the, the other device, you could hook up to your computer and actually live stream, which I've done before with other capture cards. Or you could just use it to capture video directly to OBS and record it uh, directly. Here's a little bit of action. I am so rusty at this game, my apologies. Uh, I beat this when it came out uh, a little over a year ago, and uh, I, I booted up a few times here and there just to show it off to people. I still think this is probably the best looking console game out there. And I'm just going to turn up the audio here so you can get a taste of how the recording is. So yeah, I'm really impressed. The audio, the video, everything comes through really clearly. It's really very simple to use. Literally one button to change resolution, one button to uh, to start recording. Uh, it doesn't actually use up much space for this 1080p 30 footage. I thought it was going to be using more, but for my calculation, I could get I think uh, probably two or three hours of recording a 1080p 30 on this little 32 gigabyte drive. So. You know, if I wanted to record, like, a no commentary game session, plug this thing in, just let it record for a couple of hours. When I'm done, stop recording. Maybe I cut that up and use it for my review. Maybe I just upload it with uh, with no commentary. Maybe I put my mic on there and, you know, record uh, some commentary while I'm playing or, or uh, edit it after the fact. Uh, yeah, you got a lot of options. Um, very, very cool device. I didn't even know this was a thing. Uh, until they offered to uh, to send me one to check out. So I will definitely be using both of these capture cards more in the future. Keep an eye out for some future console and, and uh, my arcade cabinet videos to show it off some more. But if you're looking for some, some very uh, nice quality capture cards, uh, either um, in the 4K pass-through with 1080p 60 recording or this local 1080p 30 recording, uh, device. I'll have links below where you can where you can find these. If you have any this questions or comments, history. let me know. Yeah. Again, Still thank you everyone for the watching. Place. I definitely appreciate it. And if you like what I'm putting out there, definitely think about subscribing. I would appreciate it. Thanks again. Have a great night, everyone. <laughs>